This video explains how to remove the border of a ggplot2 text label in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with the lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains six rows and two columns, which are called X and Y. And both of these columns contain numeric values. Now, let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it, as you can see, in line 6 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint, as you can see in lines 8 and 9. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a scatter plot containing six different data points. Now, if we want to add a text label on top of this plot, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 12 to 15. So in line 12 of the code, I'm first specifying the plot object that I have created before. And then I'm adding to this the geom label function. And within the geom label function, I'm specifying the axis locations of the text label and I'm specifying the text that I want to show in my plot. So if you run lines 12 to 15 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new text label has been added to our plot. And you can also see that this text label has a border around the label. So let's assume that we want to remove this border around the text label. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 17 to 21 of the code. So lines 17 to 20 of the code are basically the same as in the previous example. However, this time I'm also specifying the label.size argument to be equal to an A. So if you run lines 17 to 21 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated because this time our text label is shown without the black borderline that I have shown in the previous plot. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.